Okay, so welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting on the floor in my basement. Um, and behind me is our, our I call it our, um, all our dance costumes, all the girls' dance costumes and their magazines and their shoes and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna do a couple of questions, um, but also I'm gonna show some costumes because they're so cute. And I actually had to look them up because I don't even know what costumes are called. I even called Kenzie, I'm like, what is this? She goes, I have no idea. So, that's so funny. So the first costume, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> first costume, Um, The first question is Rachel Greenbaum. How did the confessionals work? When did you film them? And what questions to producers ask? Well, we filmed them on Tuesdays and um, it was kind of funny that the producers would just ask us questions just about what happened over the weekend, but then also say, we want you to say this, we need a pickup. They're always saying, we need a pickup and you need to say it like this. And I'd be like, I can't say it like that. And I would never use that word. So they would try to have us say things in a way they wanted us to say them. And I could never do that because it was uncomfortable. We weren't actresses, we are, we're on a reality show. So it was quite funny. They took so long sometimes. Um, lots of hair touch-ups, lots of lipstick touch-ups, touch but um, most of the time they were fun because we hung out with all the crew and we were really close with the crew. We weren't allowed to be, but a lot of them, you know, liked us and we liked them. So the first costume I want to show you, oh my gosh, look at how itty bitty. This was called, and I wrote it down, Why Not Me? I'm pretty sure. Look. <laughs> Is that the cutest thing ever? It says baby on it. It actually says baby because everybody had their names on it. And this is Maddie. So this was, Kenzie was the baby. And then this was Maddie. But look at how cute. I just die. I love that it's, I never saw that it said baby on it. That is so hilarious. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay, the next question is, um, I need my glasses. You know you guys, you know I'm blind. Uh, Sophie Bate, 8262. Were all the girls homeschooled when you moved to LA? Yes, they were. They were actually homeschooled before that because it was just too hard for them to continue to be in school because they had to keep getting pulled. And it was just easier for all the girls to be homeschooled. So, yes. This, I love this. This is Sugar Babies. This costume is so cute. And what's crazy is I only have, and I'm sure it's somewhere. I just have to show you how cute this is. Look at these little itty bitty. Look, these are the shorts. This is how little the girls were. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is in the inside, this says a medium. How can that be medium? So then this has to be, Oh, wait, okay, this is, this is Kenzie's, look how little, this is Maddie's, but for some reason, I only have one bottom, and I cannot believe this is a medium. I mean, this is a big full skirt. It's just so, so cute, <laughs> how little they were. I have no idea how high I had them hung. I used to have the costumes all hung really beautifully, um, but whenever the girls come home for anything, they go in the costume room and they put costumes on. I think it's hilarious. And I need you guys to tell me what this costume is because I texted all the moms and everybody is busy and they didn't text me right away before my, so what costume is this? What is this? And this is so sad. This has Maddie's name on it, but it went the whole way through because they always, um, put Sharpie on it and here's Kenzie's itty bitty what is this costume called please comment below I know you guys know it 
I know it, I know it, I know it. It's so cute, but it's filthy. I mean, they only wore this once, well, twice, because they did their dances twice, but I cannot believe how filthy it is. Oh, here, look. Maddie, this is a size 10. That is definitely not a size 10. Not in my world. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Okay, this costume. I'm sure you guys are all gonna remember this one. This one was, I think, I don't know if it was season two, maybe, I think. This one was pulled. It's nowhere to, well, it's, it's on YouTube, but the episode was pulled because there was so much controversy because they looked naked. Look at this little itty bitty bra. I mean, this, this weighed more than Kenzie did. <laughs> I mean, look at Kenzie's bra. <laughs> look at this. I mean, that should definitely say baby on it. And here's Ken. <laughs> this is how, I mean, I cannot. I can't believe us moms. Look at this. Let our kids wear this. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm really questioning my mom skills here. And look, look at how little. No wonder why it was pulled. Holy moly. That is just, <laughs> I'm a little choked up from that one. Wow. That is hilarious. Okay. Fairies of the ALDC. Oh, isn't that so cute? Is sink or swim costume red or pink? Okay. I'm going to get it for you because I have it. Hold on. Hold please. Hold please. Sink or swim. It's red. Red, red, red. It's not funny. I never knew that people, that it was like, people were questioning it, that it was pink or red. And I'm like, it's obviously red, but sometimes it's funny. Um, when you see the videos on YouTube or um, sometimes a photo, people change the color of the costume, but it is definitely red. So that's, that's a good one. Um, this one is... HM bracelets, were the competitions fake? No, they weren't fake, but um, they were very small. In the beginning, um, the competitions were so long because they were regular competitions and it was just so hard with filming and um, child labor laws didn't come into effect till season two. So there was no way they can get it all in um, with a regular competition because of the all the awards and the adjudications and going against 50 other groups or more actually more than 50 so they had to do a separate competition just a dance mom competition and sometimes there was only 25 numbers for the entire nine hour day um, but they had to do that because of child labor laws so if the kids were all over 18 of course it wouldn't have been that but yes so that's what happened this one is this is um, one of Kenzie's costumes, Bully. I mean, look at how cheesy, ugly, national TV there, you know. I kept everything. I kept, here's her little socks, and she wore, um, they're in there, Converse high tops. They weren't Converse, they were like a generic version. So that that's that. Um, oh, this, this is so funny. This was Maddie's big Bow Wow costume. Look how cute. This actually has a little string. Look how little it is. Here's this. And um, we let Asia wear it on the show. But what we did was we had the arms taken off. So Sandy from our studio put it back on for me. But is this costume, I mean, look how cute. Oh, this costume is so cute. Big Bow Wow. I love that costume. Okay. Let's do another question. And then I have two more costumes to show you. The Stacy Squad. Did the girls know ahead of time where they were placed on the pyramid? Uh, no, not at all. And that was always a big thing, pyramid day. Abby didn't pick who was on the top of the pyramid. She would fight and yell and scream and blah, blah, blah. Um, if she wanted someone on the top of the pyramid that um, they didn't want. Probably Maddie, I'm sure. 
you know, because that's how it was, unfortunately. But no, the girls never knew where they were in the pyramid. And I saw Brooke the other day and we were laughing about it. She goes, oh, we were always in the bottom. We didn't care. I'm like, good. That's good. Um, but here is, this is funny. We were talking about this on, this is called, oh, Play With Fire. Uh, this costume. I mean, this is actually a really cool costume. Here's the bows. Here, I'll take the bows out. Um, this was pulled. Um, I think the girls danced it and we recorded it, but they got disqualified. They either got disqualified or it was pulled, but Maddie had um, a real lighter on stage. You're not allowed to have that on stage, and Abby knew that. I don't know if it was Abby that put the fire or it was the producers. I'm telling you, I blocked out so much. Um, but this apparently, I don't think this aired, but how cute is this costume? I mean, I would love to lend that to people. And I lend costumes all the time, but I'm starting to stop. I'm not going to do it much anymore because I seem to not get them back. Cause I said, you can borrow the girl's costumes, but I want them back. So, you know, okay. Then this one, this one is called Domino's effect. It is filthy i think because the girls actually did this in regular competition too but you can see how much bigger these are not that they're big but this one was kenzie's let me see yep yeah i think the whole dance this was so cute this was a cute costume so i thought it'd be fun just to show you some costumes from the girls costume closet um because i love them so much i just think you know i cherish them I did sell a few of them um, for charity, but um, I'm not gonna sell anymore. But keep the questions coming. I am actually doing two fun videos next week. So if you wanna put questions down below, I really appreciate it. Cause I like for you guys, um, you know, all my followers to ask me questions so I can answer your questions. And I really appreciate you being here for me and watching my stuff. And I really enjoy going down memory lane but I am gonna be going to Jill's house in two days, and then Paige and I are filming a video too. Paige lives right down the street, and I'm in Pittsburgh right now, so it's really nice that we get to spend time together. Um, you know, I love the kids. So if you have any questions about with Jill and I, and Paige and I, please put them down below. But thank you so much for watching, and I love you all. Mwah.